Conjunctive adverbs are this odd kind of hybrid creature between a conjunction and an adverb. They're not a separate part of speech, so we have eight parts of speech, and uh, conjunct conjunctive adverbs are typically not seen as one of those eight, but they are kind of unique in a way, and so we, we do want to single them out for some attention here. So conjunctive adverbs, there, there are quite a few examples of these, and what they do is that they are similar to a conjunction in that they tie together clauses. So they are able to bring clauses together into some kind of unity, especially independent clauses. Uh, and often these independent clauses are separate sentences. So we, we tend to use conjunctive adverbs close to the beginning of a major clause, uh, which then is often connected to a separate sentence that came before. They're similar to adverbs in the sense that you can move them around. So adverbs can be moved around in the sentence, whereas conjunctions cannot. They have to stay in their place. So if you think about these two things then, that they can, can connect clauses and you can move them around, then you get sort of the gist of what a, a conjunctive adverbs are doing. Now I've listed quite a few of them here uh, on the screen and I've sort of organized them by what they're doing. Each of them is connecting clauses, uh, but they, they sort of have these patterns to them. So if you look at the first category here, adding information, that's a bit like saying and. So if you think of these conjunctions as saying and, we have also, finally, and so on, they're, they're kind of suggesting that there's more information to come. The second category is a little bit like saying so. So then we also get this, and that's that cause and effect kind of relationship. The third category is similar to saying but. And it's kind of interesting that a lot of these are somewhat similar to uh, coordinating conjunctions. And so and but are all coordinating conjunctions. And you can think of these uh, conjunctions as, as kind of more formal, more kind of bigger ways of doing the same thing. Then we have changing direction. And this is a bit like saying yet. So we've seen a bunch of stuff, yet we're going to go in a different direction. Okay. Then we have similarity, and we can express this as also. We also get this. And emphasis, we can say, yep, we've seen this, and we agree with that. And let's emphasize it. So that's a little bit more colloquial, uh, but maybe that gets the point across. All right. So... These are some common examples then of conjunctive adverbs, and uh, as we go on here, we'll look at a couple of examples of how you can use them. Let's take a closer look at an example of how a conjunctive adverb is being used in a sentence. And as we'll see in a second, there's actually a problem with this usage, especially in terms of the punctuation. All right, so there are two independent clauses that this conjunctive adverb is trying to join. The first one starts with a tanker ship as the subject, and left is the verb, and there's a direct object here as well, which is the, the Rotterdam Harbor. Second clause has a bunch of introductory information, and then we get to our subject, Colonel Ralph Fitzroy. Inspected is the verb, and his M24 sniper rifle is the direct object. Okay. We have two clauses then, and meanwhile is trying to do the work of connecting them. But the rule that you want to remember is that this kind of conjunction should not come in the middle of two independent clauses. So independent clause, conjunctive, adverb, let's just abbreviate it like that, and independent clause. That's not the best way to do this. What we want to do is we want to stick a period before our conjunctive adverb. Or we could stick a semicolon. That's another option as well. But the idea is that this conjunctive adverb is a kind of heavyweight conjunction. It doesn't want to just function like but or so, uh, which can connect two independent clauses in the middle of a sentence. It wants to be by itself. It wants to. It's kind of like saying, we're starting something quite new here, and we need a good strong break. So we need a period or a semicolon. And as you can see then, we can fix it quite easily. We can put that period there and capitalize meanwhile, and then our problem is fixed. You want to know about this rule because it's one that people often uh, 
well, don't follow. And you'll see it especially with conjunctive adverbs like however, which are often mistakenly used in the middle of a sentence, or moreover, even ones like therefore. So be very careful with this because if you can avoid this grammatical issue, then I think your writing will definitely benefit. Let's finish this explanation of conjunctive adverbs by just paying a bit more attention to how we punctuate these conjunctive adverbs. As you can see from these examples, a conjunctive adverb often comes at the beginning of a sentence, so that's no problem. Then we just stick a comma after typically and we keep going. It can also come a little bit later in the sentence, so it can come after a semicolon, let's say, and again we have this comma afterwards. But I said before that the conjunctive adverb can be moved around a little bit in the sentence. And that's definitely true. So if you look at this example here, we could say, I don't really like coffee. I do, however, stick it in there, enjoy a mocha tort. If you were to move it over there, then you would set it off with commas typically. So you'd say, I do, however, there we go. I do, however, enjoy a mocha tort. So your most common ways of punctuating a conjunctive adverb is to either stick it at the beginning of a sentence, follow it up with a comma, stick it after a semicolon, follow it up with a comma, or have it a little bit later in the clause and have it surrounded by commas. I should mention one thing though, uh, you don't always have to put the commas around the conjunctive adverb. So if you feel that it runs quite smoothly to say, I do however enjoy a mocha tort with no commas, that's quite all right too. So those are your options for punctuating conjunctive adverbs.